What's going on viewers from the internet? I'm VarietyGamer95 back for some more Paper Mario. So last time we made our way through Forever Forest and met up with Lady Bo at Boo's Mansion. So she is going to help us take care of Tubba Blubba. This time, let's go ahead and move forward with our quest. So look at this place. Go ahead, open it! So now we have free access to this area. So Mario, we're on our way. Are you scared? Uh, I did not press the A button. Let's see here. There we go. Star piece. Okay. So these enemies over here are pretty interesting. Okay. Oh. So the this is a hyper paragoomba. They have one attack power, sure, but they can also uh charge up their attack deal, I believe it's 8 damage. Yes, this is what Smack does. It's a weak attack because it only deals 1 damage. There we go, 3 star points. And I'm hoping to get another level up because I want to increase badge points. I believe Hyper Paragoombas can also uh, first strike Mario. Yeah, the jumping animation is also a little bit different. Yeah, push control stick to the left. It's actually pretty hard to do. The way that I used to do it was tilt the controller so that it's holding up. There you go. So yeah, that's the charge attack. Pow! I believe these guys have 7 HP. I, mean, I want to say it's 7. 72 star points. So there are Hyper Goombas and Hyper Para Goombas. As you can imagine, there are also Hyper Spike Goombas too. <clears throat> oh, Lady Bo! What a surprise seeing you! You know, you, you know your ladyship, you really should have come around here. It's dangerous. Tubba Blubba could come here at any time. I know! I came here to teach that Tubba Blubba a lesson! Bring him on! Who was the last time I came through here? Why, just yesterday, lady. It was horrible. He, ugh, this time he ate. He, this time he ate Herbert. Oh, it was gruesome. Poor Herbert. He was so dark and depressing. What a terrific boo. Oh, no, not Herbert. Oh, Tubba Blubba. He must be stopped. Listen, everyone. Don't fear. We're on our way to defeat this Tubba Blubba once and for all. That monster has eaten his last boo meal. Oh, lady, your bravery is inspiring. But you know he's called the invincible Tubba Blubba. Please be careful, okay? Okay, so we have a save block here. In case we need it. I believe there's a, yeah, there's a heart, blo heart block here as well. Nice. Hello there. You going up to beat Tubba Blubba, right? Yeah, get revenge. Don't ever eat another ghost. Never. Especially not... Oh, oh no! Tubba Blubba's coming! Everybody hide! Lady Bo, you have to hide Mario! Mario, we have to hide! Use my power immediately! Press down C! Everything's cool, lady! He can't see you! Nope, there's only Tubba Blubba can see you right now! Er... Mmm, looks yummy! I needed a snack! Or, a little taggy, but good. What a dummy. Oh, Stanley! Oh, the horror of it all! Stanley, no! Ah, why you too? So his name's Stanley? Well, that's weird. Oh, it was a full on items. Here, I'm gonna bring up Bombette. Cause this is a hyper cleft. Ugh. Yeah, he's fast as lightning too. You saw how fast he went after me? Ugh, yay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha! Nice! Just barely too. Yeah, three damage. He's got pretty high defense too. 
go. Yeah, see, he still had one defense left over, even though he was flipped. So that's what would have happened with the Cluffs on Mount Rugged if they didn't have, like, I think it's 2 HP. So that's a Hyper Goomba. Gotta go ahead switch to Goombario here. Pow! Gotcha! Oh, yeah, yeah, that's quite a... Boy, that's quite a... a scary combination we got going on here. Oh, this sucks. So they can guarantee that at least one of these guys is going to charge up. Usually when one of the charges up, they all do it. Case in point. Yeah, and I'm not about to I'm not about to take freaking uh eight damage. So this is what out of sight does. Takes two FP, but that's all it does. You don't have to worry about inputting an action command. Unfortunately he uses a bow's next turn. Okay, so I'm gonna power jump this hyper goomba. Yeah, see, if they don't charge, their attack power is 1. Let's power jump the Hyper Paragoomba now. Pow! Alright, smack this one into Oblivion. Okay, so it should be all good to take care of this one. So I'm going to hammer it. Pow! There we go, N nine star points. It really does if I can get that level up though. Ugh, a dried shroom. Yeah, see, it had a full items. So I'm gonna get rid of the dried shroom. Hello. Another letter. The letter to Feist Teeter, Teeter, the interest to Forever Forest. Oh, Lord in Heaven! I was not expecting you to go after me, good sir. Uh. Hello, pressing down C! Gotcha! Yes! Nice. Okay. So this is what Power Bomb does. Explode destroy all enemies on the ground. <laughs> there we go. Five, six, and six. Nice. That's quite a lot of damage you did. But it takes up a lot of FP. Like, seriously. Okay, well now I know it's gonna finish that guy off. Okay, nice. So that is 11 star points. Almost to a level up. Okay, got a flower back. Not that that's really going to help that much. So I just need to get into a fight with another... Perfect! If I can press the right button. Lucky that I still have chill out equipped. Huh? These guys don't first strike you. I could have sworn those guys could first strike you. What? I thought Hyper Paragoobas could first strike Mario. Boy, that's a lot of enemies. Oh boy, that's a lot of enemies. Cooper Paracarry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, just barely got that. I really don't want to use an FP recovery item if I don't have to. Alright, so we need parry carry to cross this. Okay, hopefully I can get a better setup here. So you can also spin jump an enemy to start a battle. There we go. And your first strike will power it up. See? I'm gonna hammer this guy. So I want to say they have 7 HP. Okay, so I'm going to have to play it safe here and switch to bow. Yep, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen, you little punk. Because I want that level up because I want to increase Mario's badge points. So hammer this Hyper Goomba. Pow! And I'm going to use Out of Sight. Sorry about that. I'm rubbing my eye. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't rub your eyes. Well... How am I supposed to wipe away my tears, huh? 
Or, you know, if my eyes are have sand in them. I don't know. Semantics. Ay, yeah, yeah. You would do that, you little punk. Seriously? Let's see. Well, I might as well show off the... Well, it doesn't matter. I was... Well, I screwed that up. I was going to show off the power of this guy, but, like, I'm about to level up. So I guess it doesn't matter in the end. Nine star points, so that's our level up. Okay, and I'm gonna increase badge points. Oh yeah, yeah. Now that I have three more badge points, I can equip a lot more. I want to re-equip hammer throw. There's really not much else that I could equip though. Quake Hammer. Quake Hammer does a uh, fixed damage. Slightly damages all of the ground or ceiling. I guess I'll equip Shriek Stomp. Yeah. I'll show off the power of Shriek Stomp if I can. So this is Star Piece over there. I wanted that Star Piece. Ugh, I cannot deal with this. <sighs> yeah, I cannot deal with that right now, man. Not, not that enemy setup. Star Piece. Especially since I don't have a lot of FP. I can only do Power Bomb twice. So here we are at Top of Lobo's Castle. Alright, so these guys will actually uh, kick you out. Let's see. The, your partners have different dialogue, but I think Paracarries is the most interesting. So I'm going to show this off. This is what happens if you get caught. This is not good. We'll be thrown out of the castle when they catch us. Can we get around these creatures with using the ability of one of our party members? So that's what I was even caught. I showed off Paracarry's dialogue. Because I, I find his the most interesting. So we can only get around these guys by using Bo's power to make ourselves invisible. And they'll relentlessly pursue you too. So we cannot go to the right. Okay, these guys are interesting. These are clubbas. So that's Slogo Badge that we found in Dry Dry Ruins. Handy for dealing with these guys. Because he's sleeping, see? Now he's going to be for a rude awakening. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, man. That, now that's quite the rude awakening, don't you think? So these clubbas here just have their, uh, like their mace. Pow, see? There we go, dodged it perfectly. Or I guess timed it perfectly. Pow! I don't remember how much health these guys have. I want to say it's like 7 or 8. Or maybe it's 8, because that did 3... Bombette did 3, and then the hammer did 4. So I want to say it's 8 HP. So I still have slow good equipped. No, not where I want to go. Here I can just... No, I can't. So these doors lead to different rooms. So that's a badge. That is D-Down Jump. Basically D-Down Pound before the hammer. That's wrong, Joseph. Let's see here. So, I think it's this room? Let's see. No, it is not. There's a star piece up here. We can collect it. Another star piece. Nice. Four of them. Okay. Uh, sorry. Got an itch at the top of my back. I'm always itchy for some reason. Don't know why. So, there's a star piece at the top of that table. Let's see, I want to get his attention. Yeah, so I can go through that door. Let's see here. Well, I managed to pass that guy without a problem. Ugh. Well, he can't see me somehow, so let's bust this down. And grab this. Castle key. Let's see. This boo's hiding out, it looks like. Oh, hey. 
Another heart block, how convenient. Oh, you're Mario. Nice place, huh? As a matter of fact, I came to this castle with my friends to try to fight Temple Blobo's weak point. We managed to find out that there's something important hidden in Temple Blobo's room on the highest floor. But once I got separated from my friends, I just had to hide. But you could go. First, you need to get to the uppermost floor, then keep going until they find his room. If you happen to run into Temple Blobo, don't, I repeat, don't fight with him. He's invincible, really. Until they find out his secret weakness, you better just run away. You got that? Alright, so if we go across top of Blubbo, we need to run away. Hey, look at this. A super block. So let's upgrade Bo, since she's the only one we can upgrade. So Bo Master Spook, but it's really not that helpful. Okay. Oh, you know what? It would actually be more convenient if I just let this guy catch me. Because the door we need to open is all the way back at the beginning. These things will try to catch us to throw us out. Use my ability to turn invisible and we'll fool them. Okay, so like I said, the door that we need to open is at the beginning. So it's a lot more convenient just let it catch me. Castle key. There we go. Hello! There he goes. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a move on. Ugh. See, when he swings his club, or his mace, whatever, he'll... He'll be like, ugh, can't believe I missed him. And be, it won't be able to move for a little bit. See, I don't remember what these guys are called, these enemies, or these enemies, with quotes, because you don't fight them. I could probably put it up on screen, that is, if I remember. I don't know, I have a dopey mind, so I tend to forget things. So let's see, there is a crack in that wall over there. Let's see, let's give, let's give another guy a rude awakening. Oh! Nice. <laughs> you know what? They might actually have 10 HP. I don't remember. I'm not tattling these enemies because there's really no incentive to tattling in this game. There is in uh, the Thousand Year Door. So I'm just going based off uh, memory for these enemies' health. The bosses, I definitely remember how much health they have. Pow. So I want to say Clubbers have 10 HP. Bam! Maybe it's 10, maybe it's 7, I don't remember. Okay, so we open this. Let's see, I want to say it is... Which one of these will lead to that badge? Okay, so it was the one on the right. Or, hold the phone, hold the phone. Will this take us back up? Yes, it will. Man, yeah, so I actually made a pretty good call. Okay, very nice. But we need Pericure to cross this gap. There we go. D down jump. Disables enemy's defense power causes some damage. So now we finally have a way of disabling an enemy's defense. Or piercing an enemy's defense with a jump attack. Oh my lord. That was close. I totally forgot that it was a there was a guy there. I was thinking it was a clubba. See him. Okay. This is the room I was thinking of before. So this is quite the pointed problem, huh? Okay, so open this, another castle key. So we have to do this the long way, because we'll lose 1 HP of health if those spikes poke us, and we'll be sent back to where the chest was. Oh, that's dirty! Come on, man, that's cheap! 
So this is where that star piece was. That is, if I can actually get down there. Okay, another star piece. I believe it is okay to jump on top of clubbers. It looks like you can't. Because of their clubs, maces, whatever. But I believe you're free to jump on them. Speaking of that, let's see here. Uh, I do not have spike shield equipped. I don't really need it though. So it's a good thing that I ended up picking the top left one first, huh? See, isn't it nice how fast Bow's ability works? Okay, so we have to push this clock. We'll uncover a secret door. Or maybe we don't have to push it. That's weird. It's just a bunch of coins, huh? Okay. No, not what I want to do. How about I give this this guy rude awakening too? Thank you of the thousand your door. So I keep pressing start to change a party member. Boom! Oh jeez, there's four of them. Ay yay yay. So let's do power bomb. <laughs> Boom! One of them is down. Hey, I can find this out. Pow! Okay, yeah, it's probably 10 HP that they have. Nice. Alright, let's do body slam with this guy. Bam! Alright, more star points to me. I'm getting closer to that next level up. The highest level that you can get in this game is 27. Once you reach level 27, no enemies will give star points ever. Not even in the final area. Let's de-equip slow go, huh? Right, let's use this castle key to open the door. It would be wise if I had bow out. What is in here? A maple syrup, perfect. Um So I can Use this, and go ahead and get the other one back. For as long as it doesn't disappear, that is. So I don't remember this castle being particularly long. Let's see here. Okay, so this room's important. Hmm, what's this? I suppose something very fishy. So there's the big guy himself. Alright, so we need to use Bo's power So stay invisible for a little bit. Now, I believe this room is important. Yes. So I believe, if this is the room that I think it is, this is why I recommended having slow go. Yes! The slow go badge would make it a hell of a lot easier to get past all these sleepy clubbers. I got another castle key. Because otherwise you'd have to lightly push the control stick and that's surprisingly pretty hard to do. So this is the one room where slow go is exceptionally helpful. But that's pretty much it. Okay, so I believe we're almost done. Yes, here we are. So there is a heart block and there is a save block. So once again, Paracarry has an interesting bit of dialogue. So I'm going to bring him out for this scene. We're almost to the end. Let's see here. Oh boy. That doesn't sound good. <clears throat> hmm. I might be in trouble. That star spirit ran away. And now I think someone suspicious is in the castle. I sure don't want to make King Bowser mad. He's scary. He did make me invincible, but if I screw up, he might change me back to normal. Time for some beauty rest. What's in this chest? Hi there! I'm Yaki! 
A faithful, a chatty follower of Master Temple, blah blah. My very important job is guard his valuables. But you don't look Master Temple, blah blah at all. That means you've come here to steal me the magical key that unlocks the door to Windy Mill at the foot of Gusty Gulch. And furthermore, your goal is to find if there's a secret inside that Windy Mill. Yep. You're a very honest person, aren't you? Help! Master Temple, blah blah! A thief! What's all the noise? Five more minutes, Mom. Because of this scene, when I was a kid, I actually believed that this key was Tubba Bubba's mother. I'm dead serious. Mom! Ah! Tubba Bubba woke up! We'll never make it if we stay here! Run! Run! So Perry Carey's the only partner to have that specific type of dialogue. Oh, we need to get out of town. Hey, you! Thief! Stop! Look out below! Oh, we need to get out of here. Alright, good thing I have speedy spin. Alright. <laughs> I always thought Mario looks so heroic whenever he does that. <laughs> you can time it right. If you go down the stairs, you can tap Z repeatedly to spin. He looks like that. Alright, get out of here. At last, we've arrived at Tumble Blubba's castle. Are you ready, everyone? Be brave. We must do all we can to help the Lady Bow. But, what can we do? This is no time to lose our nerve, fellow boos. Our dear lady is fighting against Tumble Blubba himself. We mustn't hesitate. Come back here! What? What? What's that noise? Tumble Blubba's chasing you? And he's right on the other side of the door? Oh. What? You might be able to find out Tumble Blubba's weak point? Oh, of course. The windmill at the foot of the hill. You must hurry. Right as fast as you can to the windy mill. We'll hold Tumble Blubba here. I can't agree to that. You're all in grave peril of being eaten. You must run with the rest of us. <sighs> Why won't this door open? I don't know how long we can keep holding this. Don't worry about us. Go for all our sakes. Don't look back. So we need to get out of here, okay? We need to head down to the... I smell delicious ghosts! Open the door! We need to head to the windmill. That was at the beginning of the area. Alright, no time to fight, good sir. We need to get out of town. Ugh, another cleft. Damn, he's fast as lightning. You know what? All these guys respawn, huh? And I don't have spike shield equipped, so I don't want to jump, you know? What do you have to say? Windy Mill? Just keep heading down along the gulch. You'll see before you reach the Boo Mansion. Uh, wh what? Tub of Blood was coming? Huh? So Boos just went to help you? What happened to them? See, so you fully recovered. Let's go ahead and save. Now, uh, the key that we got, it has a name and an, an item description. Mystical key. A key found in Tubba Blubba's room. Alright, so we need to spin jump this. So we have this room here. Look. There we go. <laughs> it's always so fun doing that. Okay. Let's take care of this Hyper Goomba. So there are three rooms to go through. The first room has one Hyper Goomba. Let's see, so flowers and coins. Let's see. No entry allowed. All right. No, I want to spin jump. Damn it. So the second room has two Hyper Goombas. Dizzy show it. I don't really find that helpful. 
I feel like it has a high failure rate. But that did 3 damage, these guys have 7. Alright. Yeah, I'll be able to take care of this guy, no problem. Yeah, he didn't even charge. Of course he didn't. Okay, very nice. Six star points. So this is the second room. Let's see. Really? No entry allowed. So this is the third room. It'll have three Hyper Goombas. Alright, let's do Power Shell again. The first one is down. Yeah, I'll be able to do this no problem. Pow! Yeah, of course. Of course you charge, you little punk. Pow! So, nine star points. Nice. So, this is the third room. Absolutely! No entry allowed! So, we want to take out Bow for this. You don't have to, but it's recommended. Who are you? What? Mario! Did someone tell you that I'm the secret strength of Tumble Blubble? Someone spelled the bees that the Tumble Blubble in the castle is just a shell, and I'm controlling it from here? You can't trust anybody! I can't let you out of here knowing the secret of my invincible body! Sorry, but here we go! Oh, what a transition. So this is Tumble Blubba's heart. He has 50 HP, but you actually won't be able to defeat him. Tumble's heart. Alright, 6 damage. So he actually does 6 damage by default. You won't be able to hammer him because he's technically counted as an airborne enemy. Hey you, Lady Ghost, you look quite tasty. Stick around after the battle, fighting makes me hungry. Ah, you wish! You don't have a chance to go, Scotland Free! Mario, now I'm really mad! Let's beat this thing up! Quahahaha! <laughs> I'm gonna do this great attack! It's impossible to avoid! I just have to prepare a bit, so hang on for a second. So he does 6 by default. This attack he's charging does 12 damage! As in 1 2. So what you want to do is use bows out of sight. That's the only way you can avoid this attack. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and drink a maple syrup. Nice. It's the one I got for free. So I made a full profit off that. Okay. So he's charging again. He'll most often do uh, that attack, the charge move, pow. But he has also has a dash attack that does 6 damage to Mario. Who knows why that attack does 12 damage? Wow, that's something else. So power stomp again, power jump, whatever it's called. See, so yeah, that's his charge attack. Pow! Alright. Smack him silly. See, I, I should almost have him down. Okay, so I have just enough FP to actually do this. Let's, use, let's do power jump. Pow! There we go, got him. Oh, oh I'm hurting! I have to get out of here! Let's see here. So now Tubba's heart will leave. Oh, he actually had tears in his eyes. That's funny. So those Hyper Goombas that we took care of before, they're gone. They won't respawn. Okay, so he ended up leaving. Okay. We're almost done with the chapter. It's time to reunite!
Oh yeah, now I'm feeling good. With my heart and body united, there's no way to beat me! I'm not so sure about that, good sir. So this guy's actually pretty easy. He only has 10 HP. Pow! I think he also has an attack of 4. Oh. Yeah, for such a powerful looking attack, you'd think he'd deal more damage. That's it. Eow! Wow, that's a lot of star points. 32 for an easy boss. Oh, oh, no. With my horrid body united, I'm not invincible anymore. Now I'm back to not invincible tub of blubba. That's so lame. I give up. Look, I'll give back all the ghosts I ate. Forgive me. I'm actually a really sensitive guy trapped in a huge body. I don't want to be invincible anymore if it means I have to fight guys like you. <laughs> Serves you right! Did everyone got eaten has returned safely! Hooray! But I guess they better tell everyone not to scare old Tubba Blubba anymore. We used to love scary Tubba Blubba night and day because he was such a coward. Oh well, we're not sorry for it. Scary folks would go stew, so boo on him! Ha! Besides, that was a pretty invigorating experience. I've never felt so full of excitement before. And, hmm, <clears throat> it was also a good learning experience. I think I'd better experience some more of the outside world. So, I think I'll accompany you a little longer. Is that okay, Mario? Of course it's okay, right? Sure. Done! You're so lucky to be able to travel with me. Great! <laughs> Here you go, Mario. I'm giving you back the Star Spirit, as I promised. Bootler, snap to it! Come over here! Here, Mario. He's free now. Let's go ahead and claim our prize. End of chapter! After solving the secret of Invincible Tub of Blubba, Mario and Party said Free Star Spirit Scholar. Now, with Tub of Blubba just a bad dream, the boos are free to haunt to their heart's content. Even the lonely wind echoing through Gusty Gulch seems to be celebrating the victory. At least for now. With newest party member Bo in tow, Mario and friends are ready to take on their next challenge. <laughs>